Coach Russell. Uh, I'm getting better with my chain wrestling on top right now, man. Good stuff from the top. Um, Ohio guys don't work a whole lot of top stuff, do they? Uh, no. It seems like even when I was in high school, those guys were mostly take them down, cut them. So, uh, you know, I think especially now in college where you get four point back points, you got to be able to turn. I mean, you get a takedown and turn at six points or a reversal and turn that's six points. It's, it's a lot of points to make up later in a match. So, for our guys especially, we've been really concentrating on kind of, you know, chain wrestling through one turn to the next, to the next, to the next, and kind of brought that in for these guys and something that we've been working on a lot. Okay, a lot of transition and change for you in the last couple months, right? You know, Sean bumps up the head. Everybody bumped up a spot, right? Yep. Because you, you go from volunteer to second assistant now, right? Yep. What's that been like for you? What's changed? Now you can recruit more actively, right? You can, by rules, you can't, as a volunteer, you're not yeah. supposed to recruit. But how, what's changed for you? You know, Sean's head, Trella bumps up. What's it like for you? and what you guys have done the transition there coaching wise. Yeah, I mean, I think it was easy for the wrestling side of it, the transition side, because, you know, we were all been in the same room uh, for the last four or five, six years. So it wasn't that big of a transition in that case. For me, you know, with the recruiting, it was definitely a transition where, you know, I got a little more responsibility on my plate now with, with recruiting and, and going out to tournaments to watch guys or doing home visits. Uh, but, you know, Josh and Sean are great guys. They've helped me, helped me you know, ease through the transition. and. We've had the same goal for the last five years as a staff, so um, you know those goals haven't changed. We still want to win the Big Tens. We want to be a national champion. So now we're just kind of figuring out our own system with with us three, and then once we get a volunteer. Okay, you guys are in, you're in this gray area right now of recruiting as far as Ohio State, Michigan, right? You're in that like hour from Ann Arbor, you know, two hours from Columbus. A lot they got good guys here. A lot of good recruiting here in the Toledo area. What do you guys do? What are you looking for? You know, you obviously want the best guys. You got world champs. You guys have recruited with Luan. You got really good guys coming in, right? Um, what's his name? Mason Paris. You got that guy. These guys are really good. What are you looking for when you recruit in this gray area here? Yeah, I mean, I think we're lucky um, that we're by such a hotbed of wrestling. Um, and obviously, we're fighting all the other big schools for the guys. But we're lucky enough where all these kids can come up to our RTC in the spring. So we have a ton of kids coming up. Uh, we get to see them in the room. We get to, you know, to put them through some workouts through, for freestyle. Um, so I think you know, it's a huge advantage to us to be this close. And, and we're looking for guys that really want to improve every day that you know, are willing, you know, the kind of mat rats. They want to be on the mat. They want to be wrestling. They're not afraid to go and pick the best guy in the room to wrestle because sometimes guys, especially when they come up to our practice, they think we're watching them. And, and they think if they give up a takedown that you know, we're going to forget about it. So we're looking for those guys that give up that takedown, and then they come right back and get the takedown to a turn. Um, so we're constantly looking to get better, and, and they're not afraid to make a mistake in the room because the only way you're going to get better is by making mistakes in the room and improving and learning to score in every position. Speaking of RTCs, you have a really successful one, and I think me, people may forget you said two guys that were in medal matches at the European Championships in Micic and Dave, and then, you know, obviously Final X coming up, Adam Kuhn, right? How yep. excited are you guys for that, right? You got an opportunity to get multiple world team members, not just for America, but, you know, your RTCs, it's rocking and rolling, and it's one of the top three out there. You know, I, do people, you know, I mean, do they sleep on your RTC a little bit, you think? I, I think so. I mean, I think we, we, we've been through a little transition, uh, some guys coming in and coming out. We got a really good group of, of veteran uh, college guys that are really interested in, in continuing to wrestle freestyle, so we're excited to have those guys kind of graduate and just move right up in the RTC. Obviously, we have Stevan who placed third, Dave, who was you know, real close to placing third at Europeans. He ended up losing a tight match there. Uh, we also have Andy Simmons, who's been training with us, that he, uh, or John Simmons now, he'll be, he'll be wrestling Ironman for true third at 65 kilos. So he's another guy we have in the room training with, with our RTC every day. So uh, I think we got a, got a good base right now. We're trying to build on it a little bit, add a few more players where we think we need them. And, but again, we got a ton of college guys that are really interested and they really like wrestling and they want to wrestle freestyle afterwards. So we're kind of saving some space for them too. You ink Dom, Dom, Dom's in now, Avenator. Yep. Um, Simmons, they're still tread on those tires. That's, yeah. that's nice to see, right? Does that ever get you thinking? You know, I was like, hey, man, you look jacked right now. You got a strong beard line going. Yeah. I was like, are you back in the game? You that, know, like, does it make you think a little bit you might have a little bit left? I mean, obviously, you always think about it, but right now, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, happy with the, you know, with the transition and I'm. Um, We'll see, but right now I'm happy with just helping these guys and helping Simmons get ready for, for the next couple of weeks and Dave and Stevan and hoping to be able to travel with those guys a little more. I was supposed to actually go to Europeans and then uh, Russia stopped, went, 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 blacked us out and stopped communicating, so I couldn't get my visa. Um, but I was actually supposed to go out, be out there coaching those guys, so it was a bummer not to be there, but I'm looking forward to you know being able to travel with those guys a little more and, and coach them overseas. Okay, trophy, fourth this past year. You guys tied NC State. Obviously, the goal is to get the gold one. 
Is there any question in your mind you guys can't bring a national title back to Ann Arbor? No, I mean, I think we got the, we have the staff, we got the talent in the room, we're getting the recruits. Um, you know, we had the support from our administration. They're really into it. They want us and, you know, like our Chrysler duels this year were packed, so they want us having bigger and bigger duels every year. Um, so I think we got the support we need. We have the guys we need. It just, it needs to line up. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. The last two years, we had two, two seniors that had season-ending injuries at Big Tens, which is, I mean, heartbreaking for those guys and heartbreaking for the team, too. Um, so I think, you know, as long as everything keeps going well, we keep everybody healthy, I, I don't see why we don't have a shot at, at, at bringing home the title if, you know, guys are out there performing. Adding guys to the roster at the RTC, what's the RTC do to wash one hand, you know, scratch, you know, scratch each other's back with RTC and, you know, Michigan program? How, how do they work in conjunction with one another and how good is that? Yeah, I mean, I think we have a real good connection with, with, with our alumni base, and obviously RTCs take a lot of fundraising, and I think our alumni is seeing what an RT, a good RTC can do for a good co college program. It can make it great. Um, so right now, you know, we're bringing guys into RTC that are not just good wrestlers, but they're good people, good men that can help, you know, mentor our guys and see that they're, you know, this is what it takes to be on the next level, and, and our RTC guys are just doing an unbelievable job with that. All right, what's next for you? Final uh, acts then, recruiting-wise, what's next? Um, yeah, so we'll be going out to Fargo, um, you know, a couple home visits here and there. And um, besides that, just really getting our guys ready. We got our Michigan summer camps coming up that will have one overnight camp and then a bunch of, we're going to do a lot more day camps. So we've got Josh Trella doing a leg, leg riding camp. we got John Morrison doing a attack and score camp. So I'm super excited for those. All right, lunchtime. You got anything else for me? I'm ready to eat. All right, let's go get some lunch, all right? Yep.